Hello everyone, this is Melanie from Melanie B's Creative Studio. And don't you hate it <laughs> when I lead off with a brown box? I'm sneaky like that. I know it, I know, but you know, it just ups the suspense, right? I mean, I realize that the channel graphic gives it away, but you know, it is what it is. So let me go ahead and just say that. I am now working in collaboration with Shipper. And you've heard me write, how long has it been that I have been talking about how I would love to work with Shipper out of Germany because they have such fabulous paint by number kits. Um, let's see, it's been about 10 months since I discovered their PBN kits. And I have just been in awe with the quality of the paints. I own three or four of their 36 piece acrylic paint sets because yes, I am a hoarder, but also because I am one of those people that needs to have a backup for my backup for that backup. So <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> so anyway, I am now starting a series called Shipper Sunday. So the painting in this box is part of their new releases for the fall. And they were kind enough to send me three of the paintings from that new release. And hopefully in the future, they will continue to do so. So what my plan is going to be is to introduce new kits amongst some of the original kits they already have and I have in my stash from this past spring and bring you new releases in addition to some of the original releases. And that way you can see some of the designs they have. And also if some of the new releases become unavailable for you to find, then I can go back to some of the originals that are still amazing and do a video on those and you will be able to go find those. So I'm trying to work these in and out of each other so that you guys will be able to find the kits because they're so hard to find sometimes once they're released. So let me get this kit out of its boring brown package and let's discuss it. Okay, so I'm really excited about this piece because I love this artist's work. This piece is called A Visit to Berlin. This is artwork by Miguel, and I'm gonna mess this up, Freitas, and he does incredibly cool work. I call this wonky, okay? And I love his pieces. Shipper has several of Miguel's artwork and I have eyed them for so long. He has Europe, he has one that I believe is like an, a holiday and he has one of New York um, and a couple others. So when they brought out the Berlin piece, although I've never been there, I still thought I love this piece. This would be one that you could add to the collection if you have already started painting some of Miguel's pieces. So love it love it now let's talk about the size of this particular piece this one is a 40 by 50 centimeter so this is going to be your standard 16 by 20 ish for those of us who go by that format so i'm going to go ahead and tell you that my shipper sundays are not going to really delve into the quality of the canvas and all of that we're going to really mainly discuss the uh, painting itself as far as the design, the palette, the paints, how they swatch, because their quality is so consistent when it comes to their canvases or their boards, I guess I should say, because they're not canvases, but the contents are always so consistent. Now I will check the new kits to see if they've added anything in addition to what they normally have, but mainly what I wanna do is swatch paints, tell you which ones may or may not be transparent, translucent, whatever, so you know what to expect if you buy this particular kit and tell you what to do if that happens. So that is gonna be the predominant reason we're gonna take each kit each Sunday and kind of delve into it. All right, so let me go ahead and get this opened and let's talk about what we have inside and take a look at the yummy, delicious paints. Now, as always, you're gonna see the brochure, which you need to throw in the trash. <laughs> if you are me, 
I never throw these away, I'm not gonna lie. But I probably should because every time I get one, especially with new releases in them, I'm like, look away. I'm so bad because I want to sit here with a Sharpie, you know, and I'm circling everything. Like I haven't done it with every previous catalog. But anyway, this is just their catalog of their products. It is like danger, danger, Will Robinson. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> with the robotic arms. Okay. Yes, I just dated myself, whatever. <laughs> Anywho, moving on. All right, these are the stickers for your paint pots. There is also a paintbrush. They always include a paintbrush. I will point something out in just a minute about the numbers of these stickers. That is something I want to make sure I point out every time I do a Shipper Sunday because these stickers and how they get placed on these pots can be very important. You can see this particular kit has a lot of paints. That's another thing about a shipper. You aren't normally getting just a 24 piece paint palette. You're usually getting way more than that. You're getting sometimes up to 42, sometimes up to 48, it just depends. So even with a, a paint kit this size, which is standard, you know, for the paint kits on the market, this has got more paints than most, which I love. More paint colors means more detail. So I'm just gonna put these aside for right this second, but I am gonna open this part of the kit. So before you go placing your stickers, just bam, 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 and on your paint pots, you definitely want to take a look at the included reference guide because it's gonna tell you how to number your paint pots. Sometimes there will be duplicate numbers and that is why you need to pay attention to this part of your reference. Now this is just, giving you instructions in several languages. It gives you information. It's important stuff. If you have never done this, you know, that is something that is up to you whether you keep or not. They talk about some other products in this part as well, but we will set that aside. You know, I'm always about this part and we'll get to the board in a minute. So we start with noticing here that each strip has a letter which is a reference for how we're gonna number that set of strips. You can see that strip A starts with one and goes through six. So most of these are just going to be very cut and dry, right? In this particular set, there are no duplicates. So that means that I'm just gonna number them straight through. What I do notice is there is an empty paint pot here. And it does specify here, it says Lear, which it says here with translation. So they even give you the translation of what that means in German, which means empty. For me, I love this. I know that seems so silly, like what? But if you happen to want to use that paint pot for anything, you can do it. If you wanna put a little mixture of something in there, it's there for you. I'm sure the reason they did that is just because they already had a strip. Why not leave it on there? But this is always important to make sure you're paying attention for duplicates so that if you have an extra 24, you don't just go bam, bam, bam and start labeling everything that you know that that's an extra 24, whatever the situation may be. So let's take a look at the reference guide for a moment. Their reference guide is always very clearly marked. You can see it very clearly. So that is important. I am going to swatch these paints. Look at the colors. When I opened the box, the first thing that popped out at me, of course, is lime green. Hello, beautiful. Woo, I love you so much. And I'm gonna tell you, in my kits that I have, the 36 piece acrylic paint sets, these are the colors I have used the most. And I have run out on my first set of those two colors. When I did that cardinal painting and I did all the blending in the background, I used up those colors the most, and I'm like, those are the ones I use absolutely all the time. But look at these. Those are fabulous colors to have as backups. But let's not, oh, and that one too. But let's not overlook the yummy deliciousness. These are okay. <laughs> Boring neutrals. No, I'm just kidding. But um, <laughs> let's not overlook the rest of the yummy deliciousness here. Now, how about some fabulous neutrals, okay? So, yes, I will swatch these. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at this board, and then I'm gonna go swatch paints and come back. 
I have the board out and there are a lot of people who say, what's the difference between this board painting and this board painting and this board painting kit? And I want to make this clear because this is the first Shipper Sunday. And for those of you who have not seen my prior Shipper videos, I will go ahead and say it in this first introduction type of video for you all, this board is thicker by probably twice at least than the other boards that are included in other board painting kits. And I'm gonna to try to tilt this up a little bit and focus. And you can see the depth and the thickness of this board. Now the other features I love about this particular board is that they use kind of a taupe gray. It's a very warm gray line and number, but you can see them clearly. Plus the reference guide helps you as a backup. So very nicely done because it's so light, there are no issues trying to cover them. And if you have a paint, which doesn't happen very often, that is a translucent and knocking on wood, I've never had a transparent shipper paint, then you know, a translucent paint is going to cover nine times out of 10 without a second layer, especially because I put a very, very light layer of clear gesso. Now, you guys, if you, if you do that, please read the disclaimer that I'm going to put somewhere here because I have a very specific method. It is a board, not a canvas. Okay. Different procedure altogether. So um, I'm very, very particular about my shippers. And a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, I would never put gesso on a shipper. Well, you know, I love the texture, this canvas texture, but it is paper and it is a different, I don't know, it's got a different texture to it, but I don't like my brush slipping around. Even though it has a fabulous texture to it, it doesn't have a tooth to it. So I personally love the gesso on it. Now there are less toothy, less gritty gessos out there. I don't use them, I use the Liquitex, but I'm gonna start trying those just, you know, as tests. The bottom line is, if you're going to do it, please follow my instructions and, you know, do a small test spot if it makes you feel any better. Moving on, let me zoom in and try to show you a little closer up these lines of numbers before I go swatch these paints. So you can see how clearly marked everything is, but it's just such a beautiful, light, warm gray that you should be able to see it very easily, especially for those of you who like to use the magnifying headlamps and so on. So let me go swatch these fabulous paints and I'll be back with an assessment of what I think of this palette. See you back soon. Well, I am back and <laughs> there are only a handful of companies that I expect this kind of greatness from and Shipper is one of them. And I'm gonna tell you that out of 35 paints that I swatched, there were none that gave me trouble. I looked really, really close in very bright lights and I can barely see the gray line under the white. And you guys know that whites and paint by number kits are usually transparent whites. This one is so beautiful that I really had to look under all these super bright lights to see it. And that is the only one. So even this golden yellow, that is like an autumn -y golden yellow was beautiful. I was expecting that one to be more translucent. This lighter blue, I can barely, barely see that little gray paint pot line. And keep in mind that our board, as I showed you earlier, was a taupey gray, which is even lighter than the line on this little paint pot swatch. So, you know, I am super impressed as always with the shipper paints. Now there is something I want to show you because a lot of people will ask about this. It's been a long time since I've shown you the consistency of a shipper paint because you guys are not expecting what you get sometimes. These are very fluid paints. So let me grab my stir sticks and show you really quickly what you're gonna get when you open up a shipper paint. And let's take a look. 
So I just grabbed one of my brand new custom paint brushes. Yeah, yeah, shameless plug, I know. Uh, this is my 10 slash zero flat brush and you can see it is right now I've used it enough to where it's got a, a little bit of a point on it. It's actually a flat brush. It's got a tiny little flat tip, which is amazing. But I wanted to show you the fluidity of this paint. So I'm gonna zoom in closer and I'm gonna put the items that you see here, I'm gonna put a link in the description for you guys if you wanna find these items. Now when I open a paint pot from Shipper, I will always be careful because they are such fluid paints. Now uh, this is another item we have at the Melanie B's Creative Supplies. Uh, it's a little different than some of the stirs you've seen before, it's stainless steel. But anyway, I'm gonna use this one to show you. You can see that the Shipper paints are a lot thinner consistency. I think, I think you can see that. You see how they drip? So when I use a shipper paint, I always wipe off into the cap, not into the pot. Because of the way these close, they close into that. If I wipe off on the side, it's going to get thick and clumpy around this part, which I don't want. So I'm going to wipe off on this section and I want to make sure I hope I'm not losing focus here. I want to make sure that I'm wiping it and making sure it's going down back into the pot. Now you see how nicely these flat sided stir sticks wipe off and so I'm not wasting paint. But you'll also see how fluid these are when I dip my brush. So see how fluid. Now I got a lot. Oh, I got it up in my ferrule. Shame, shame, Melanie. I'm gonna rinse this off real quick. Wasting paint, what? I'm gonna wipe the excess off, rinse my brush, and pull it across my cosmetic wipe to reshape my beauty. This is probably one of my favorite brushes of the sets that I've designed for now. I'm still waiting on two new sets to arrive. All right, so when I use a shipper paint, I dip, and I try to make sure this is kind of flat, but I dip into this well. Here. Because it is so fluid, I want to make sure it's fairly flat and I dip into it and I barely get any of this paint. And you can see how far that paint will go. Now you saw me flip my brush over. This does not need flow aid at all. It doesn't need diluted flow aid or anything. Now once this paint sets up for a little while, you might need to use a little drop of flow aid or diluted flow aid to reconstitute it. What I typically do is I'll put a drop in here, stir it up, and then take that that's on there and put it in here and stir it in here. And then I'll, that way it mixes it all together. But do you see how beautiful this paint is and how nicely that fluidity makes it spread. It is fabulous. And check out that awesome paintbrush. Um, while I have the paintbrush here, I will show you. You see how this made such nice little tiny lines? Talk about detail. So I can make straight flat lines with this brush, or I can make lines across by holding the brush upward and use it to outline my cells. And you see how tiny that little outline is? And depending on how much pressure I apply, I can get thicker or thinner strokes. So this brush is incredible. In fact, I love it so much that I added it to the Creative Supplies store as an individual brush. So it comes in a five piece set, but it also comes individually. So you guys can check that out there. Well, you guys, that is it for the first ever Shipper Sunday. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this new series. I am looking forward to hopefully a long relationship with Shipper. And I will include all of the information below about where to purchase Shipper paintings. They're you know difficult to find sometimes. I do not have an affiliate link, which means I don't make any commissions off the Shipper paintings. 
you can find them on their actual website, which is based in Germany. I will put the links for Amazon US, UK, Canada, and Germany. I do make affiliate money, a very small commission off of the purchases you make from those Amazon sites. I also have influencer storefronts. Now what that does is it gives me a very small percentage commission, but it allows me to make purchases for additional products that I can bring you for review. One more thing I want to mention, I have revamped Patreon so that for my members who join Patreon as of October 1st, there is a brand new one tier only plan. There's one membership. It is $12 a month. I am limiting my patrons to only 75 members to keep it very small and personal. The reason I want to mention that is because once in a while, I will put in a bulk order for shipper. And that means that the people on my Patreon VIP group on Facebook, and you can only get into that group if you are a Patreon member. And I'll put the information below as well for you to link to Patreon, look at the membership benefits. There's also a link that I will put in the description for my website, which will give you more information about what Patreon is and all of that. But once in a while, I will put in an order for Shipper, which basically saves you a $30 shipping fee that it costs from getting it from Germany to the US. I get that order placed and then I get it and I ship it out to my US customers. So that is just a perk that I supply to my Patreon members. Be sure to go check that out. And you guys, thanks as always for being here with me again. I hope you enjoy Shipper Sundays from here on out. And I look forward to seeing you again. And I will see you back soon.